Because I was really attracted to the Lake District. It's somewhere that I thought was just super beautiful and pretty. I'd always wanted to see it. And I then saw a video of Tim in the Lake District doing his thing. And uh, I really like got attracted to the rope because like I just I thought the way that you were moving with it was so incredibly fluid and I was just like there's something there there's something there <laughs> I got to start so like I ordered the ropes ordered the course and I just got super hooked and um, I had went through an ankle injury last year and I just felt like I was having a, a hard time like fully recovering from that mm -hmm. and like the rope just seemed to give me this like connection to the ground with these slight pivoting motions and like this variation through the ankle that I just wasn't really getting from like mm. traditional rehab type stuff. Yeah, it's not like monotonous and frequent, but it's, it's like, and it's gentler maybe. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentle, and I was still able to, I mean the other side of that is I was still able to find this like flow um, that feels really good for me uh, with, with still being like quite gentle on the body and, and not super impactful and mm. whatnot. Um, so I remember seeing you say like you didn't you felt like you didn't want to be one of those rope flow guys. Yeah, and I completely get that. Yeah, because I get how the how the rope can look to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, you you felt that, but then you still felt enough of a calling to like give it a try. Yeah, I mean that that was like that that was definitely a practice of going through my ego a little bit and uh, <laughs> and and being like having a certain like flash judgment of of a tool or something that like, mm. uh, I don't, I don't think I need tools. Like I can do it all on my own type of thing. <laughs> but then like just, yeah, getting past the ego and being like, no, 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 like there's value here. And then like for 30 days, I, I've heard you talk about like, mm. I just fell in love with it. I did it every day for like almost two months straight. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> but then I started to get into your other stuff, uh, talking about the kettlebell and, um, just the stuff that, you know, you've learned from David Weck and getting into uh, yep. the coiling core and yep. head over foot. And uh, I started doing school of biomechanics. And at that time, you know, when I saw Tim was like hosting a retreat in the Lake District, I was mm -hmm. like, this is just a lot of synchronicity that I've always wanted to go to the lakes. Yeah. And now I'm getting super into your stuff and uh, and just felt like connected to your journey as well. The yeah. stuff you're going through. Thanks, man. And yeah. and. So the ropes kind of led you to that, and almost next minute you're on a Swiss ball. I see, like yeah, yeah, a nice red Swiss ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, how was the journey to that? What, what, what? Because that's another one where it's the test of the ego, right? That's the yeah, the Pilates ball that the women in the gym, women's class, will do in the gym. Yeah, or like yeah. the, the strong man isn't touching that <laughs> rubber ball. But uh, so how true. was that journey to, to touch that? And what made you feel like? Oh,